a huge task for these Boston Celtics. You got a team that's, that's desperate for fighting, so you can never count them out. Step back, three pointer, punch it in. Jason Tatum on five. Just keep playing. Just keep playing. Your look is good right now. 50 points for Jason Tatum, putting the Celtics on his back. And we just got to come back with it next game. So looking forward to the challenge. It is a live wire night in Boston, Massachusetts, and the NBA playoffs on TNT, presented by State Farm. Game four of this first round matchup between the favorites, the Brooklyn Nets, against the Boston Celtics. This is a 2-7 matchup. Milwaukee, the three seed, is already advanced. They swept Miami. They await the winner of this series, Brooklyn and Boston. The Celtics win their first game of this series in game three, and it was Jason Tatum who put up a 50-piece. Third youngest player with a 50-point game in playoff history. He also had a 50-point game in the play-in as well. Hi, everybody. With that, we welcome you. Great to have you with us as we get set for playoff basketball on TNT. I'm Brian Anderson along with Jim Jackson. We'll hear from Jared Greenberg in just a moment. And you got to get right to the big story, and that was Jason <laughs> Tatum. What a performance in game three. Oh, but it was needed. I mean, Jason's heroics, especially when they got down early in the second half, they were able to fight back. They needed every basket. Now it's going to be a little bit different now because Kim is not <laughs> playing, so the attention to detail and the defense is going to be all on him. How about this crowd? It is rocking already, and our man with feet on the floor is Jared Greenberg. Jared. B.A. Brad Stevens says there's a reason teams play for home court advantage, and tonight they hope to get a huge boost from the first sellout crowd in this building in more than 15 months. There's a lot of pent-up emotion, and that emotion is likely to be directed right at Kyrie Irving once again. He was serenaded with a chorus of boos as he was introduced just a couple of moments ago. Throughout the course of Game 3, Kyrie actually responded to what was a 25% crowd at 4,700. He wanted more. He wanted more boos. Steve Nash says, whatever gets him going, B.A., he'll take it because Kyrie needs to be better than he was in Game 3. Yeah, he had a down game, and he you're right. I mean, they're cheering his warm-ups, everything he did. As you take a look at the key of starting lineups, familiar five for the Brooklyn Nets. You got the big three in there with Joe Harris and Blake Griffin joining that trio. A big lineup change. No Kimball Walker tonight. He is not available. A knee injury, a knee bruise. So Romeo Langford in his second year. He missed most of the season after wrist surgery. He gets the start, and the Celtics already banged up even more so tonight, Jimmy. And they're going to have Marcus Smart handle most of the point guard duties with this particular unit on the floor.